So let us start and I give the floor to our first speaker, our graphic designer, Yuri Shavkunenko. Доброе утро, друзья. Доброе утро всем, кто западнее от меня, и добрый день всем, кто восточный. So good morning, dear friends. Good morning to everyone who's to the west of me, and uh, good afternoon to everyone who's to the east. Доброе утро, наша замечательная переводчица Ирина Перемот. Она рядом, ну как рядом, километра два от меня. То, то есть у нас сегодня утро еще. And good morning to my wonderful interpreter, Irina, who is quite close to me, maybe two kilometers, so it's still morning here. Сегодня утром я сделал эту фотографию буквально час назад. This photograph was taken literally one hour ago, so this morning. Я шел на работу, а вернее навстречу к вам. I was walking to work, that is to meet you. В Латвии, в Риге народ дисциплинированный, сказали сидеть дома, все сидят. So the Latvian people, the uh, inhabitants of Riga are quite disciplined. They told them to stay at home and they do. Но глаза и уши нам пока еще не приказали закрывать, поэтому будем работать в данных условиях. But uh, fortunately, they have not told us to close our eyes and close our ears. So we will work in under these conditions while we still can. Итак, меня зовут Юрий Шевкуненко. Я занимаюсь графическим дизайном рекламы более 35 лет. My name is Yuri Shavkunenko. I've been doing graphic design and advertisement for more than uh, 35 years. Последние три года. Я контролирую uh, всю печатную рекламу, что идет, uh, и что, вернее, что шла от Skyway Capital. And uh, in the last three years, uh, I have been in charge of all the graphic uh, advertisement by Skyway Capital. Поэтому немножко истории. So I'll give you a little background. Два с половиной года назад юристы господина Юницкого послали на международную регистрацию два знака, сдвоенную SW и летящую каплю. So, uh, several years ago, the lawyer from Mr. Yunitsky was sent to register the logo of uh, the company, and it was uh, the SW together and the graphic sign that you see on the slide. Сочетание букв Skyway было зарегистрировано только в Беларуси. And the combination of uh, the letters Skyway was registered only in Belarus. У нас был похожий знак и логотип, но, естественно, мы имели и оригинальное отличие от uh, знака Юнистова. We had a similar sign and logo, but of course we also had uh, some features that differentiated our sign from the logo of Mr. Unitsky. Несмотря что у нас были правила и что жесткие нормы, мы себе позволяли некоторые вольности. And despite the fact that we had quite strict rules and norms, people still uh, allowed uh, themselves to go far from them. Народ у нас творческий, но не дисциплинированный. We have quite creative people, but not so disciplined. Вот такого безобразия больше допускаться не будет. So this kind of abomination shouldn't happen anymore. Что мы имеем на сегодняшний день? So what do we have today? Первый раз uh, сочетание SWC появилось ровно год назад в Арабских Эмиратах. We got this combination of letters SWC exactly a year ago in the Arab Emirates. Но это была просто иллюстрация. But that was at that point only an illustration. В августе прошлого года в Минске мы могли видеть уже вот эту uh, эмблему uh, шар земной с буквами SWC. 
in the August last year in Minsk, we already saw this logo of the uh, planet uh, and the letters SWC across it. Но в тот момент это была только эмблема, эмблема амбассадоров. But at that point, that was only the logo for the ambassadors. Get Together. And also like an emblem of our meeting that was called uh, Get Together. Поэтому, когда наступила естественный, естественная просьба поступила от Анатолия Юницкого в ноябре прошлого года прекратить использовать его символику, мы были уже к этому готовы. So when there was a natural request from Mr. Yunitsky in November last year to stop using his symbolics, we were already uh, prepared for that. Было три плюса в этой ситуации. The situation actually had three advantages. Первый, не надо было платить за разработку новую, uh, нового знака. First of all, we didn't have to pay for the development of new insignia. Второе, не надо было платить за раскрутку этого бренда. Also, we didn't have to pay for the promotion of this brand. И третье, он уже был принят нашей, нашим сообществом и по получил популярность э от практически Тихого океана до Атлантического. Uh, and uh, thirdly, it was already widely accepted by our community and popular, basically, from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. Нам нужно было просто эмблему назвать знаком. We simply had to call the emblem the sign. Мы так и сделали. And that's what we uh, did. Кто-то вмешивается и путает. Not... Someone intruded in the slides. Итак, на данный момент мы имеем знак вверху и логотип внизу. So at this moment we have our uh, sign uh, on the top of this slide and our logo type on, on the bottom. Знак подан на международную регистрацию. This sign has been submitted for international registration. Я прошу прощения, но кто-то очень серьезно вмешивается в процесс. Пожалуйста, не нажимайте другие кнопки. I beg your pardon, someone is intruding in the process. Please do not click other buttons. Итак, и внизу мы видим uh, Skyward Community, написано оригинальным шрифтом, и просто набить тыканием пальцев в компьютер его получить нельзя. And uh, the... Um... Logotype, uh, the words that you see in the bottom, there is an original font for that. So you cannot get that by simply typing on the computer. На данный момент uh, есть вертикальная версия, горизонтальная версия. At the moment we have both vertical and horizontal options. Но самое главное, у нас есть общий закон. But what's most important, that we have a, a common law, so to say. Which is called basic norms. Норм повторяю, and let me repeat that, the com that compliance with basic norms is law. For everyone. And we must never again have uh, the same uh, ugliness and deformity we have had with our previous logos. And I would like to address all our leaders, speakers, and board members that go live. Пожалуйста, соблюдайте нормы, поскольку то, что вы делаете, мгновенно копируется другими. 
please do comply with the norms because everything and anything you do is immediately copied by everyone else. Yes, it's это себе позволяет человек высокого уровня, значит, вы можете представить, что могут позволить себе наши остальные партнеры. If a high-ranking uh, leader afford, allows himself or herself not to comply with the norms, you can imagine what will be done by the grassroots. Этих норм будет доказ... наказываться даже материально. In the future, the violation of these norms will even be punished financially. Почему это надо? Why? Потому что соблюдение корпоративных правил – один из главных условий рекламной практики. Because compliance with corporate rules is one of the main conditions of successful advertising. Это преследуется всегда на всех фирмах, и мы должны быть профессиональными. It is uh, the uh, non-compliance is always punished in any company, and we also have to be professional. На данный момент в базах норм, нормах есть следующие пункты. At this moment, we have the following points in our basic logo A first uh, section is logo and logo types. Second is all materials necessary to conduct a conference. The third thing is different attributes and souvenirs. Документация, включая визитные карточки и банки. Then different documentation, including business cards and uh, templates. Правила оформления печатной продукции. Uh, rules uh, for formatting printed materials. Электронные материалы uh, для uh, презентации и даже вставок в телефон. And different electronic materials for presentations and even to use on your phone. Все это соедино, собрано в едином папке и будет распространяться после 2 апреля. Какого апреля не слышала? All of this will be compiled in a special file and it will be distributed after the 2nd of April. Все материалы будет распространять наш ответственный менеджер, ответственный за рекламу, за принт-рекламу, Елена Ковалик. And all these materials will be distributed by Елена Ковалик, who is our manager responsible for all the advertisement and printed materials. После этой встречи, которая произошла, произойдет сегодня, я посмотрю на вопросы и, скорее всего, скорректирую эти базовые нормы. Uh, after this meeting, I will take into consideration all your questions and most probably will uh, do the final editing of the basic norms. Поэтому uh, и распространение uh, этого материала будет немножко оттянуто на неделю до втор после 2 апреля. That is the reason why these materials will be distributed uh, only a week later after the 2nd of Сегодняшнего April. Дня Использование всех материалов с прошлой фирменной символикой запрещается. From this day on, it is forbidden to use all the materials with our previous symbols and logos. Я вот сейчас посмотрел на э, наш знак и логотип и понял, что и понял еще одну его сущность. I have now looked at our uh, logo and logotype and I have understood one more essential thing Он about похож it. на человечка, который хочет вас обнять. It looks uh, like a human that wants to hug you. Добро пожаловать в наш новый мир, Sky World Community. So welcome to our new world. Sky World Community. А сейчас я должен передать слово другому нашему спикеру. 
And now I have to give the floor to another speaker. Communication manager in Europe. Smart, positive and charming. A person who hates Kat black Jacobs color. Is Kat Jacobs from Belgium. Hello, everybody, everybody. It's still very early here. Let's see if I... Доброе утро, доброе утро всем. Uh, здесь еще очень рано. Let's see if I do it correctly, because the first time I use this virtual uh, Mirapolis room. А давайте посмотрим, получится ли у меня справиться uh, с этой платформой. Я впервые использую Mirapolis. Okay, can you see me all? Can you see my slides? Can you give me a plus? Как там получается? Вы меня видите? Видите мои слайды? Yes. Может быть, вы можете поставить think, плюсик, если все получилось? I think we're on it, yes. Plus, plus, plus from Belgium. Hello. Хорошо, мне кажется, все пошло. Wow, uh, thank you very much to be Добрый here. Добрый день, плюсики из Бельгии также. Спасибо большое, что пришли. And it's a pleasure to see everybody here and so many people. И я так рада вас всех видеть, и так приятно, что так много участников. Hello, Rihanna. That's a long time. Thank you very much to be here for us. Uh, thank you, Kat. Um, Kat поздоровалась. Well, I was so, happy that you are here because you translate very well in common English, so everybody will understand us because that was a big issue for the other conferences. So I'm very glad. Она очень рада, что я присутствую, что будет понятно все, что будет переводиться. Okay. So, um, let me start with my introduction. That should be the next slide. Okay, here I am. So, I'm uh, officially my... Давайте начнем с того, что я вам представлю. Officially, my name is uh, Kathleen Jacobs. Официально меня зовут Kathleen Jacobs. But my friends call me Kat, so I like you to be my friend, so please call me Kat. Друзья же зовут меня Kat. Поскольку я хочу, чтобы мы с вами были друзьями, зовите меня, пожалуйста, Kat. So I'm a resident in Belgium. Я проживаю в Бельгии. But I escaped for the lockdown to Portugal. Но на данный момент я оказалась в Португалии. Studio, in на данный момент я нахожусь в музыкальной студии, именно поэтому у меня на фоне вы, вы видите кучу with инструментов. A friend, in я э, здесь живу с замечательными друзьями в Португалии. Belgium, I did not want to stay in the city with the lockdown. Почему я сбежала из Бельгии? Потому что я не хотела оставаться в городе, который uh, был uh, полностью закрыт, перекрыт карантин. And now I'm here, not sure if I want to go back, so I look for a new residence. So if somebody has an, a suggestion, please send it to me. И вот теперь я нахожусь здесь, и на самом деле возвращаться мне не очень хочется, поэтому я ищу для себя новое место жительства. Если у кого есть какие советы, напишите мне okay. лично. So let me tell me, tell you my work experience. The uh, first 13 years of my life, I was a professional makeup and hair artist. Uh, позвольте поделиться uh, опытом моей жизни. Первые 13 лет моей рабочей карьеры uh, я была профессиональным мейкап uh, артистом то есть занималась макияжем uh, и также занималась uh, парикмахерством. And делом. I worked um, with a lot of very successful people all over the world. И я работала со многими очень успешными людьми по всему миру. With big, big groups. I mean, if you have these... Uh, 
big um, uh, com uh, companies and you work with them, it's like groups of 200, 300, 400 people. Я также сотрудничала с огромными группами людей, с компаниями, которые насчитывали 200, 300, 400 человек. И вы знаете, что uh, человек, визажист, занимающийся макияжем, или парикмахер, на самом деле для людей чаще всего является таким конфидантом, да, или консультантом. Это то, кому все все рассказывают. И именно вот в такой ситуации я раскрыла свои другие таланты. And I'm already doing this for 19 years. И благодаря этому я начала свою новую карьеру, которой занимаюсь уже 19 лет. And that is coaching people who have severe trauma. А это коучинг или наставничество для людей, у которых есть сильные травмы в жизни. And also a lot of people who were given up by the medical um, world, so very sick people. И также работаю с людьми, от которых отказалась медицина, то есть очень больными людьми. И сфера моей деятельности касается ментального состояния людей, эмоционального, физического, энергетического и также их взаимоотношений. Ради чего же я вам все это рассказываю? Потому что это дает мне огромное преимущество в том, чтобы uh, помогать людям сотрудничать с другими людьми. So, um, и это мне очень будет помогать в работе менеджера коммуникации, потому что я буду способствовать тому, чтобы люди могли сотрудничать друг с другом и строить команды. Окей, so the next slide should open now. Окей. И теперь смотрим на следующий слайд. Okay, can anybody give me a sign when my time is up? Because uh, there's here a pop-up window over my um, time, so I cannot see the time. Я хотела бы попросить, чтобы кто-то сообщил мне, когда мое время закончится, поскольку окошко этой платформы перекрыло на моем компьютере всякую возможность видеть, сколько времени. So this is my responsibility in SkyWorld community. And I'm very happy to do this. Итак, здесь список моих обязанностей или ответственностей в Sky World Community, и я очень рада за все эти обязанности okay. взяться. So I ensure that all the information of the board will end up with people, um, you know, the, the, to reach the right people, uh, I, I pass it on. Первая моя обязанность – это обеспечить, чтобы вся информация, поступающая от правления, передавалась и доходила до всех правильных людей. Give me this information. Дальше моя обязанность также передавать все технические проблемы, возникающие в личном кабинете. Очень часто люди мне звонят или пишут, говорят, как, вот это не функционирует, вот здесь я не могу зайти, тут у меня ничего не получается. Так вот, в моей обязанности сейчас тоже входит передавать информацию о технических проблемах правильным людям. Поэтому с такой информацией вы тоже можете ко мне обращаться. Иногда, когда люди пользуются личным кабинетом. Uh, of course, some things just don't work or they slide over each other. 
but then they're working. I'm always uh, checking if, it, is it, if it's really wrong, um, but I always uh, uh, contact you again. And so don't worry. I, I get a lot of information and I give it, uh, I pass it on. Итак, если у вас какие-то проблемы а, в личном кабинете, иногда это просто, может быть, какие-то вами неправильно сделанные настройки. Поэтому всю поступающую ко мне информацию я проверяю, смотрю, может быть, там просто какие-то окошки у человека наехали одни на другие. А, По-любому вы можете совершенно не стесняться обращаться ко мне со всеми техническими проблемами личного кабинета. Я разберусь в сути этой проблемы и перенаправлю ее куда надо. But no, um, mostly it's because they're working. Mostly it's the, because then they say to me, yes, Kat, we know, uh, we are working at it. И uh, чаще всего проблемы сводятся к тому, что uh, какая-то вот эта функция, она находится в стадии разработки. И тогда мне разработчики сообщают, что да, сейчас эта функция глючит из-за того, что okay. она в стадии разработки. And then the next one is um, dispute between the top experts and the board. This, or also miscommunication. Uh, следующее, разрешение. Разрешение споров или недостаточно четкой коммуникации между топ-экспертами и правлением. And sometimes it's just, you know, easy to solve, just communication and that's it. And it's mostly like that, you know, just tell me what's going on, what's on your mind, what is bothering you and we communicate. It's not a problem. Uh, чаще всего проблема выединывается, а не стоит, на самом деле, просто какая-то проблема недостаточной коммуникации. Поэтому, пожалуйста, свободно говорите мне, что вас беспокоит, что для вас является проблемой, о чем вы задумываетесь. И, скорее всего, это будет просто какая-то проблема uh, недостаточной коммуникации, и мы легко сможем с ней okay. справиться. So then the next one is uh, solving disputes and miscommunications between the leaders of the countries. Дальше разрешение споров и нечеткой коммуникации между лидерами команд в странах и их командами. And that's, that's human, you know, we all have our preferences and our convictions and we project emotions on each other and that's okay. But there can be communication and it's better that we communicate so we work as a team. Uh, мы все люди, и, конечно, у каждого свои предпочтения, свои убеждения, свои эмоции, которые мы пытаемся друг на друга вылить. Но это все просто вопросы коммуникации, с которыми можно замечательно разобраться, и мы сможем работать как команда. Okay, and if there's, a, if there's unsolvable problems, then we go to the board, and then the board takes decisions, and we also experience that, yes? Если же какие-то проблемы, скажем, мы не можем к общему знаменателю прийти, ну, обращаемся тогда в правление, и они уже дают свое решение. Есть и такие ситуации okay, тоже. And then uh, resolving disputes and communication uh, between the, the leaders and their teams. И, как я уже сказала, тоже, значит, разрешение споров и недостаточной коммуникации между okay. лидерами и их командами. A problem uh, in every country and um, we can solve this we have to communicate take uh, take on, uh, take contact with me and then um, we start to communicate I will be the middleman and I will communicate with with your team or in your downline and we solve problems that is important that is important that we, we become a big group a big family you already told us uh, the, our logo is giving this It's a big community. We are a big team. We're a family. So that's how we should work together. И такие конфликтные ситуации, они практически возникают совершенно в каждой стране, и это нормально. Все, что нам нужно, это коммуницировать. Поэтому, пожалуйста, обращайтесь ко мне. Я стану посредником между конфликтами сторонами помогу разобраться между вами и вашей командой между вами и вашими э, э, спонсированными людьми ниже э, и потому потому что э, такого рода коммуникация и четкость очень важна потому что мы ведь семья как юрий уже говорил мы общество которое должно быть okay. как семья so, and then, um, 
there are a lot of questions of the team leaders and uh, please please contact me because I pass it on to the board I make a, a, a nice uh, a, a compact uh, information about it and and then the board knows what is what's our needs what we need as the leaders as, as team members uh, they need or need to know our needs and what we like to see change and that's very important and I like to do that very very much so we approve every day every day uh и э, есть, очень часто у лидеров команд возникают вопросы какие-то. Пожалуйста, сообщайте мне ваши вопросы. Я их э, соберу, сделаю эту информацию компактной, э, обработаю, передам эту информацию правлению. Таким образом, они получат э, понимание того, в чем мы нуждаемся как лидеры, в чем мы нуждаемся как члены команд, какие перемены нам важно увидеть. Мне очень нравится этим заниматься, потому что я хочу на самом деле увидеть улучшение в нашей команде. И последнее, но не менее важное, это помогать э, лидерам решать проблемы. And that doesn't mean I'm the, uh, the support, but there are things that is very, very difficult to uh, solve through the, the live chat. And uh, then we, I, I teach the leaders who they have to uh, contact, what they need to prove, because The support need proof they, they need uh, uh, screenshots and then I, I teach them how to do it and how to send it to the support and then easy uh, things that that uh, are problems already for months and months are solved in in two three days so it is possible so please contact me and then I teach you no problem Uh -huh. uh, и, значит, я буду помогать лидерам uh, решать uh, проблемы. Что я имею в виду? Это не значит, что я теперь сама по себе являюсь технической поддержкой. Нет, просто многие проблемы невозможно решить uh, в чате с поддержкой. Потому что люди часто не знают, к кому правильно обратиться, как, как правильно подать информацию о своей проблеме. Обращайтесь ко мне, я вам скажу, к кому вам надо обращаться. Я вам объясню, как сделать, например, скриншот, который нужно отправить э, технической поддержке. Потому что часто им нужно э, конкретное описание проблемы, иначе они не знают, с чем вы к ним обращаетесь. Таким образом, я вас э, с радостью обучу, к кому обратиться, как обратиться, какие материалы подать. Таким образом, все будет просто и Проблемы, которые не решались месяцами, могут решиться за два so, дня. You also can tell me what you need in your country. And eh? now we're on lockdown, we're in total different situation. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need to do, to build up your teams. Uh, tell me your 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 thoughts and your ideas, because we all need to work together and stick together and, and build further and further. И сейчас, конечно, в каждой стране совершенно разная ситуация, страны перекрыты, у каждого свое положение. И, пожалуйста, делитесь со мной, в чем именно вы в вашей стране нуждаетесь для того, чтобы продолжать распространять бизнес, строить команду. Делитесь своими мыслями, своими идеями, нам нужно yes, держаться because, вместе. Uh, it, it Потому что не так легко нам всем адаптироваться к этой новой ситуации, и поэтому мы можем помочь друг другу. Запомните, вы не одиноки. На этом слайде вы видите всю мою контактную информацию. To guide you, to help you with problems, to help you communicate with your teams, with the board. If you have ideas, uh, please do not hesitate. 
Я сделала так, что вы можете справа нажать и скачать вот этот слайд, скачать всю мою информацию. Пожалуйста, скачивайте. Это то, зачем я здесь, чтобы помочь вам, помочь вам в коммуникации с вашей командой, с проблемами, помочь вам в решении проблем, помочь вам с вашими идеями. Я хочу этим заниматься, помогать вам, поэтому, пожалуйста, не колеблитесь, просто обращайтесь ко мне по вот этим okay. контактным данным. So, um... I'm going to pass on uh, the, the next speaker, and it's again uh, our uh, wonderful des uh, graphic designer, Yuri. And thank you, Yuri, for introducing me. I forgot to, t to thank you. Uh, it's wonderful to work with you. It's, uh, you're very professional. Thank you very much to be there for us all the time with all our, for you, maybe stupid questions, but we need you. We need you. Thank you. And so he's going to present our new uh, presentations of the technology, and um, I'm very anxious to see them. Uh, it's a secret until now, so uh, yes, uh, we're looking forward to use these presentations. And it will be online now, everywhere, no um, conferences anymore. So, uh, well, we do, we do, and we go on. And this, for me, people, this is... Um, Change is always better. Uh, it always gives you new opportunities and gives you this boost to um, take it with your two hands and try it again instead of, oh, no, I was used to uh, meet people and have conferences. No, change it because this coronavirus is uh, giving us more uh, opportunities to contact each other. И сейчас я бы хотела передать слово нашему следующему спикеру. Это снова наш графический дизайнер Юрий. И, кстати, я забыла поблагодарить Юрия за то, как он меня представил. И на самом деле я бы тоже хотела представить его, что с ним работать совершенно чудесно. Юрий, вы огромный профессионал, и вы в любой момент готовы нас поддержать, даже если мы обращаемся с совершенно глупыми вопросами. Но всегда помните, что вы нам очень-очень нужны. И... Юрий нам сейчас представит свою, представит новую презентацию нашей технологии. Я с нетерпением ожидаю этой презентации, потому что до данного момента она была в тайне. И, конечно, мы все теперь сможем пользоваться ей в онлайн для того, чтобы продолжать свою работу. Потому что лично я считаю, что перемены, они всегда... К лучшему перемены – это всегда новые возможности перемены, это какой-то толчок, не чтобы опустить руки, а чтобы сказать, я снова попробую. Да, сейчас коронавирус все изменил, мы, мы хотелось бы сказать, вот мы привыкли встречаться. Нет, не опускайте руки, коронавирус нам дает теперь возможности встречаться еще больше, только по-другому. Всегда теперь легко начать okay. разговор. Как у вас so дела? Как здоровье? So if you have здоровье? questions, please put my name in in uh, head letters, yes, and then uh, put the question in the chat. I get the information and I will answer them. Итак, если у вас есть вопросы, пожалуйста, пишите их в чате. За главными буквами мое имя, потом сам вопрос, и я Соберу ваши вопросы, найду ответы на них и Thank you, thank you, Rina, for being here for me. Okay. Yes. And thank you, Kat. Yuri, please Юрий, удивите. Я сейчас смотрел на отдельные вопросы. Друзья, если у вас... Yes, I will have to surprise you. Я лично, напишите адрес. Uh, I have looked through some questions, uh, but friends, if you have uh, certain technical questions, uh, please address them to me. I will give you uh, the address. Mm -hmm. uh, about the centering of the letters and all other technical um, details about the logo and the logo types.
Let's move on to the topic that uh, was uh, raised by Kat. Uh, it, uh, we will not do a classical presentation right now because it's useless to do so uh, as most of the information contained within the presentation you all know very well you have been working on it for more than a year you are experts I will just I will just dwell on key issues and tell you why uh, this or that is made in this or that way in the presentation. So we will not do the presentation as such. We will give an overview, overview of the presentation with comments. I have shown this version to our leading speakers. They have reviewed it and uh, they have suggested their own edits. And I understood that each one of them has their own version, their own personal scenario. So every one of them will choose something from all this mass of information in order to create their own living version. So I will go simply go through the whole material that is present there and will comment on it. Uh, the uh, notes for the presentation will be distributed as a Word document. Uh, for now, it exists in Russian, but it, it will be translated to all the languages. So uh, the PowerPoint presentation itself will not have much text. It will mostly have pictures. Uh, the experience has shown us that such a presentation is more convenient to adapt to our multilingual, uh, multi-country world. And in general, uh, in classic presentations, much text is not recommended. This new presentation consists of almost 90 slides. Uh, but do not be afraid of this number, because everything depends not on the number of slides, but on the time you spend with each slide. I will demonstrate to you that 15 slides can be viewed in 20 seconds. And uh, I will uh, reiterate that all these elements have been verified and tried on our leading speakers. Let's start.
я хочу рассказать о принципах, почему она была выстроена именно так, а не иначе. Before I start the presentation itself, I would like to discuss the principles of why it was created in this and no other way. It will not be some long lecture. It, these will simply be parts of the lectures I have given before and that you probably, you yourselves know already. I will just remind you. So the first topic is the interests of the investors. Four criteria by which any investor, and especially a professional investor, will evaluate our project. First, the presence of the problem on the market. Meaning, what problem of the market do we uh, intend to solve? Second, growing market. We have to be in the very beginning of the growth. Third, it has to be scalable. That is, it shouldn't be uh, interesting only to your region. It should be of interest for the whole world. And the fourth criteria is a clear and transparent model of getting profit. So, in essence, that should be the scenario, the script of any presentation. No matter how long the presentation, whether it's a 15 minutes presentation or a couple minutes pitch, or it's a 45 minutes or an hour presentation. Uh, the version I am going to show you right now uh, is calculated to take a maximum 35 minutes with all the pauses and explanations. And uh, not to forget, uh, it does not contain video materials. They will be given separately as links. Why didn't we include the videos in the presentation itself? Because not everyone is technically savvy and the conditions can be uh, conditions of work can be different and we would not want to cause technical problems within the presentation. Uh, you can uh, take initiative and insert the links, uh, I mean the videos, within the presentation if you are sure that it will not cause technical problems during reproduction of the presentation. Let's continue. Uh, Carl Gustav Jung, uh, the psychologist, has uh, categorized us people into four categories.
Uh, this is not my goal to uh, remind you of the whole process and terminology. We have all gone through it, we have all been taught this. This is the most popular version that is called DISC, and that is what I am going to base uh, my approach upon. So, the red is dominance. These are uh, the bosses, the commanders. Uh, yellow influence is, it is our creative people, our stars. Uh, blue compliance, these are our peacemakers, friendly people. Oh, I mean, that, that was green and the blue uh, stability. And the blue uh, is compliance. These are people of logic and analysis. And I suppose that Irina mistook the two colors uh, not by accident. Because... Because some coaches mix up these colors, but this is exactly the original. Uh, Uh, while you prepare any presentation, be it for a large audience or for one person audience, while you prepare it, you base your preparation as if you do it for the logic type, the, anal uh, the analytic type. These are people who can murder any presentation with their questions. These people might not have an education of an engineer or a designer, uh, but it doesn't matter that they don't have this education. They are in constant search for solutions. Therefore, they will torture you with their questions. Therefore, your presentation has to be built logically, and every element has to be founded in logic. There is a famous sales technique called ADA. Uh, so, it's attention, interest, desire, and action, which forms the word ADA. So, uh, the zone of presentation is in the left part, in the regions of attention and interest. But as has been shown by most recent researchers, and you can see it in most uh, recent trainings, is that interest is founded on trust.
Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you go shopping. We don't have so much deficit right now. So let's say you stand in front of shelves with lots of lots of juices. How are you going to choose your juice? You will either take some juice that you already know or that someone told you something good about or you've seen it in an advertisement. So well, you will you choose based. Uh, based on knowing uh, it, that is, based on trusting uh, that brand. является доверие, которое вы могли создать у своей аудитории, у своих оппонентов. So, uh, the key element of sales, and that is also of presentation, is trust that you've been able to create in your uh, counterparts. So, creating an aura of trust is an art form. It's not just mechanical reading of the presentation. It's uh, a, a, an ability to convey emotions. And, uh, of course, you have to create the presentation for the blue type, but the emotional background has to be created for everyone. And uh, this background is created by everything, by how you are dressed, by your voice, by your manners, by your nonverbal communication, by your charisma. Вот этот интересный график, it's art, знал, it's uh, drama art. Дам. I have uh, come to know this graph very recently, recently, uh, basically uh, last year. how uh, the trust of your Посмотрите, counterpart uh, depends on your Google. appearance and on how you present yourself. Please uh, take a look at the bottom left corner. Uh, there are IT specialists who couldn't care less on uh, of how you look and how you're dressed. You can come wearing underwear, basically, or some torn apart jeans and a t-shirt. Let me list uh, for you uh, the people who care the least about how you look and how you present. These are engineers, military people, lawyers, scientists, and IT specialists. Now let me list for you the people who care the most about how you look and how you present. These are doctors, accountants, teachers, uh, salespeople and housewives. And our target audience is colored here by bright yellow color. And, of course, everyone around them. Uh, 
Sales, uh, sales people are not only uh, shop assistants that we see in the actual shops. These are uh, multi-level uh, networkers. These are basically people who sell anything. These are people mostly uh, uh, of humanitarian uh, education uh, and uh, um, liberal arts education, uh, and these are mostly women who sell basically something close to their heart. These could be vitamins, uh, they, these could be uh, different creams, uh, cosmetics. But these teachers, salespeople and housewives are the ones who represent great masses of people. The engineer could understand you really well and really fast, but these people will need more explanation, but it is worth it, because they are going to promote us much more than any engineers, military people, lawyers, scientists or IT specialists. And the presentation that I am going to show you about uh, a bit later is actually uh, built in a way to serve this category of people. Uh, this uh, approach has been tested. I, uh, the, the salespeople contacted me and said, we finally understand and we will be able to use this simple language to also communicate it further to our customers. And the last. Uh, the um, attitude of the speaker towards the audience has to be similar of how a man approaches a woman. Uh, before we started our video conference, you were able to see wonderful video clips that have been made recently already with our new logotype, SWC. Uh, before, we had different video clips which had very technical language. An engineer explained using an engineer's language to another engineer something that uh, the latter one already knows. Uh, this is uh, like uh, the movies, uh, science movies for uh, population. But our audience is women, and such movies uh, explaining science will not tempt or charm them.
Но он не обучал нас разговору. Он нас обучал uh, Three days ago, Frantschik Soler taught us a phone conversations. But what he actually taught us was not just talking on the phone, but charming on the phone. This is real art, which he has mastered at best. Uh, yesterday, I is, uh, asked my interpreter about one of the words about seduction, which is uh, in English would, uh, would be translate kind of deceit, and she said this one had uh, very bad connotations. Uh, therefore, I agreed to just use the word seduction. And now imagine the situation. Imagine a man approaches a woman and instead of giving her flower, uh, flowers, gives her a manual, uh, a textbook on life together. And, uh, and he tells her, just read the manual. I already know it. I will go for a smoke. When you finish reading, just go to the bedroom. Then I don't think this kind of man will have any success. So the presentation uh, is not like popular science movie. It's something living. It's a living element of seduction. You can slow the presentation down, you can change your intonation, you can go faster, you can constantly change your plot. That's what Franciszek Soler did. He gave some information, then he made a pause, he approached it differently. This was something living, like a living theatrical performance. And so that is the kind of tool that I'm going to introduce to you right now. Of course, I will not accompany all of that right now with emotional performance. We are limited by this online presentation right now, but I will comment on uh, the materials. So, uh, the presentation is built on four pillars. Uh, Investor interest, logical structure, trust, and, and seduction of the target audience. If you explain clearly to any person, this will build trust. People do not trust what they do not understand. 
So we will uh, explain everything in very simple terms. Uh, what you see here is not just a logotype, but also our new slogan that we got uh, literally last week. Uh, always in the beginning of the uh, presentation you have to introduce uh, yourself. Of course, uh, here I give myself as an example, but you will choose, uh, you will change this slide to represent you. And so, um, when I try to reach a specific target audience, I forget and about конечно, me yeah, being yeah, right now a graphic yeah, designer yeah, and uh, I first uh, promote yeah, my first yeah, education, yeah, which is yeah, an yeah, engineer. Yeah. And of course that I am Skyway investor, meaning that I also t uh, take part in this process, so you can trust me and do it with me. This is the beginning of the presentation. When you start your presentation, you have a cold audience. They have come to you from the street and they still are not comfortable in their chair. Or they came back from lunch and they are still digesting whatever they have eaten. So they, you do, do not still have their attention. They are cold. So the version I suggest is a historical background. For people to get used to me and to simply calm down. In 1914, a Russian uh, uh, Confectionery factory, ANM, in uh, Tsar, Russia, has launched uh, ca uh, candies with very interesting inserts uh, of illustrations. And if you look uh, Next to the numbers 1914, you will also see a very interesting mode of transport, quite similar to our own. This is the world imagined by that uh, science fiction artist, the world he thought would be in 2100. Of course, uh, I understand that uh, in our community, you, we do not need to discuss a lot what we see here, especially flying there on the second level. But this artist did not just forecast or foresee the new mode of transportation. He also foresaw the collapse that will happen down there on the ground.
He thought that was going to happen in 2100, but we had something similar already in 2000. And here we can move on to our current world and to the pictures you know very well. I'm sorry, the, the keys didn't work. So this is the picture. I don't have to explain anything here. You will be able to explain it yourself. As I told you before, any presentation is a living organism, so at any point you can introduce a story that will be topical at that very moment. So this is a graph that shows that in car accidents uh, more than one and a half million people die yearly. And I could also introduce this scary picture which is quite current. According to the data of the University of Hamburg, in the first two months of this year, uh, 2,360 people died of coronavirus. But almost 200,000 people were killed in traffic accidents. Yes, the numbers taken by the virus have already increased. It's already 23,000. But also the traffic accidents deaths have increased and have reached uh, 300,000. Therefore, the probability of you being killed by a car is much greater than you being killed by a virus. Another version I can uh, use or not use in my presentation is about the number of transportation vehicles. It's especially good if your audience uh, includes engineers, technicians, logical people. In 1900, uh, there were 267,000 people per one car. But in 2019, there is just five people per one car. And you should also see how bigger the population itself is. Uh, humanity will never deny itself the opportunity to move. And you understand where I'm going with this, of course, uh, to our transportation. Of course, this picture is well known. This is the collapse of uh, ports. Uh, 
we could uh, of course talk a lot about uh, the very costly topic when the ships and uh, the uh, other kinds of transportations stay idle Of course, as I said previously, uh, all the notes for the slides, all the text for the slides will be available in uh, the form of Word document. You can see the number of the slide. I am pointing at it right now. And the Word document will contain the same numbers. So uh, you will have the number of the slide and the text that, and, or an explanation that goes with it. And every topic is shown by these uh, very noticeable red and, and black uh, colored uh, letters and numbers. So the first two topics is overload of transport routes and lack of security. Uh, the next topic is how we want to live on this planet and how the planet resists this kind of living. But we still try to murder it. Uh, this is a very uh, impressive picture, but I have to warn you, don't show it for too long. People looking at it start coughing. So our next emphasis of a topic is environmental pollution. Uh, the population currently is trying to move to electric cars. It's very fashionable. It's a top theme. All the companies start producing electric cars. Не просто подключаемся к розетке, мы подключаемся к электростанциям, которые также загрязняют нашу среду. But what's the use? Because uh, the electric motor of the car is not simply plugged into some socket, this socket gets its electricity from power stations that keep polluting the atmosphere. So uh, it's maybe not 91% as on the slide, but in 90% of cases, we keep burning coal, gas, petroleum, or uh, we use nuclear reactions. So we keep using what keeps polluting our atmosphere. So, uh, the, the solution of our problem is not in exchanging the uh, non-perfect engines of our vehicles. So, uh, the real problem is high power consumption so that leads us to still using uh, power stations that keep polluting. 
Я привожу пример из Германии. The humanity has always been trying to go up, to go to the second level. Но это все равно варианты трамваев, повернутых вверх ногами. This is an example from Germany, from China. Все изобретено уже давно. But these are still simply tram cars just upside down. Слева фотография из Италии. Дети идут в школу, а вернее едут в школу. All of that was invented very, very long ago. С правой стороны on the left you see picture from Italy of children going or taking a ride to school. Хотя они были изобретены сколько. To the left we see engines that we currently use very well and mostly they are made in China. Я вот почему поставил Though этот кадр? They were invented что, like a hundred years ago. Путают, понятие канатных дорог и фуникулеров. Uh, why did I give this picture? Because people constantly confuse uh, cable cars uh, uh, and uh, uh, ca cable cars of, of different kinds, the ones on the rails and the ones that are suspended. Uh, these children here look more advanced than the modern um, cable cars or funiculars. They have their own engine, their hands. Uh, these kinds of transportation do not have their own engines or motors. They are pulled by the cables shown by white arrows on these pictures. You understand when I, where I'm going with it. Our transportation has its own engine. Here it is. Here I will not dwell on this picture because all of you are able to say a lot about it. This is a classical quote of Mr. Unitsky. Which we've been hearing for at least two last months. Так, как я бы объяснял продавцам и домохозяйкам. And now I'm starting to discuss our technology. И это не просто примитивное объяснение. Это понятное для них объяснение. The way I would explain it to salespeople or housewives. And this is not a primitive explanation. It's a clear and understandable explanation that they will be able to later duplicate. I have given this explanation to different uh, target audiences and they all responded in the same way. Finally, we have understood it and we will be able to, uh, spe uh, to spread it further. So, our task is to go from point A to point B. То есть, разогнать весь животный мир. The classical approach would be to level uh, the ground this way. Затем, 
meaning to dissipate all the uh, animals, all the nature. There, then we would have to lay here a deep multi-layer foundation. And then to lay tracks and to launch the rolling stock. Or, as we used to do, we could uh, put it all up on the bridge. It's a classical scheme, but it is very costly. So what, what, what does string technology offer us? So the strings in a guitar are strained on the guitar body. And so what we do, we take our strings and we strain them on the body of the planet. So what is our offer? First of all, we replace the top part with a thin cable. Следующий шаг. Натягиваем трос. Then we do not need such heavy supports. We can replace them with lighter ones. Закрепляем его в земле. The next step, we strain the cable. And we anchor it to the earth, to the ground. And we no longer need the mid middle supports. And then we encase the top part. We use a long, let's call it pipe. And now I will show you from the very beginning, the whole explanation of the technology takes not more than 20 seconds. And you, you don't need to say anything else. Everything is shown. And of course, then we can go into more details if we want to. We can show the cut of our uh, track. But you know all of that. And you also know this scheme. Uh, if some of you do not know this scheme, you can then later look at the explanations in the Word file. These pictures were taken at an exhibition in Berlin. And uh, these these are photos uh, made by me, so there is no copyright conflict, especially because uh, the glasses that you see on the right picture, these are mine. So um, there shouldn't be any copyright conflict. These pictures uh, are free to use.
Uh, as you know, uh, the current rules by Mr. Yunitsky that we cannot use pictures or illustrations without the link to the official document from which they have been taken. Therefore, this presentation will always contain links to the official sources of information. Uh, this illustration was made by Skyway Capital uh, based on uh, the bridge that exists in Riga. Uh, so, uh, as I said, uh, the copyright to this picture belongs to Skyway Capital. Uh, this picture is very good at illustrating string technologies, the string technologies of the bridge and our string technologies. Mm -hmm. Moreover, we can explain that the supports shown on the picture in the water are, in reality are not even necessary uh, because with our technology we can move from one shore to another shore without supports because it's only 600 meters. The, explan the explanations for the following pictures uh, are also given in the word file and they are all quite justified, the, the motion between the slides, so I will not dwell on details right now. Uh, and if there are no links to the authors of the pictures, uh, then it means that these are my pictures, just like this one you see right now on the screen. And I can assure you that I will not raise any claims against myself uh, as the author of the pictures. This is an illustration I have taken from an official source. I just worked on it a little uh, by magnifying certain things. Let's move further. Uh, the trail uh, is uh, so we have a couple options on how to use our track. We could launch one whole long car. Можно разделить на маленькие вагоны и пускать с маленькими интервалами. Все дело в логистике. Thus uh, creating a very big load on the track. Or or we could use uh, uh, small cars and launch them at small intervals. It all depends on our logistic planning. I really like this picture, therefore I'm coming back to it. Uh, it shows that everything we have right now was invented long ago. Эту фотографию я сделал также на инотрансе. Uh, here we are talking about впереди, the wheel. Согласие, что я его буду фотографировать. Я его специально поставил, чтобы был виден размер двигателя. Uh, this picture I also made myself uh, during InnoTrans and I got uh, 
a permission from the man standing in front of it to take a picture of him. I actually asked him to stand there in order to show the scale of the wheel. Схема показывает, что при движении на поверхности земли мы имеем проблемы не только лобового сопротивления, но и различных ветревых потоков сзади автомашины, которые замедляют это движение. Uh, here we can see that when we move on the ground, we do not only have the, res the frontal resistance, uh, meaning when, when we move head on into the air, but we also have the resistance of uh, air whirling at the behind of the car. All the numbers uh, that I show on the slides have been taken from uh, the lectures or presentations by Mr. Yunitsky, and I simply uh, formatted them here. These numbers tell us that when we increase the speed, we lose 90% of uh, the fuel uh, in order to fight the air resistance. The next uh, scheme shows that our transportation doesn't have such problems. Here is our transportation. Повторяю вопросы, которые нас интересовали в самом начале. The schemes you see right now, you have previously seen in your booklets. Let's repeat uh, the issues that interested us at the very beginning of the presentations, the problems that we saw. And in order to move to comparison graphs, you can explain them on your own, you know them fairly well. And this graph you also know very well, the dependence of delivery cost on delivery time. Um, you might not have seen this slide too often, but this is the comparison between our technology and all the other modern technologies. So I recommend you uh, study this slide later in depth and you will definitely see all our advantages really well. Я рекомендую обращаться к его официальным Next we talk about the author and you will also find all the explanation in the word file. And I recommend you to uh, go to his official publications if someone needs a more detailed explanation. On his website, on Mr. Yunitsky's website, you can find literally everything. This is the transportation we have at the moment. Of course, if you need, you can dwell in more details on these slides. But I will move further. 
работ показывает работу транспорта. This is the illustration for the cargo transportation. Она принадлежит Skyway Capital. Схема, пока, которая показывает... Uh, the, this uh, picture uh, explains the work of passenger transportation and belongs to Seven Capital. То есть то, что мы uh, очень просто можем... And this scheme shows that our transport can go through building without overloading the building. Meaning that we can be introduced very simply into any structure of a city. И вот почему. Слева вверху. In showing different exhibitions, I decided to dwell only on this one, and this is why. Это швейцарские канатные дороги. Top left picture shows a stand that was located across from Skyway stand. Этого стенда смотрят на сторону нашего транспорта. These are Swiss cable cars. But you can see that even the employees working at that stand are actually looking at our stand. No, I повторяю, повторяю, они должны быть обязательно либо лично вашими, либо иметь ссылку на официальный источник. Только так. Uh, if you need a broader information in your presentation about the exhibitions, you uh, will have more information, of course, in the Word document. And you, of course, can also add additional illustrations if you need. But I have to uh, insist again that the illustrations have to be either pictures taken personally by you or if, if they are taken from somewhere else, then the links to those official sources have to be present. Все это можно найти на сайте Юнеско. And next we talk about the documentation of strength technology. А также о людях, которые с ним работают. All of these can be found on Mr. Yunitsky's website. We also talk about people who work with him. About the production facilities. And about our first test testing platform uh, in uh, Belarus а near Minsk. This is Eco Techno Park in 2016. Uh, and this in 2019. You can see evident uh, difference. В Беларуси. Это проект. The technology I'm showing you right now, you know very well yourselves. You have seen it. И транспорт, который in Belarus. уже есть и работает в арабских эминатах на данный момент на девятнадцатый год. This is the project in the Arab Emirates. Ссылку на источник вы всегда можете найти в углу. And the transport that is already working in Arab Emirates uh, in 2019. И, конечно, в проекте 
Наше замечательное будущее, мы уже подходим. And the link to the source is always uh, at the bottom of the slide. Тут вы должны дать свою эмоцию, свои чувства. And of course, uh, this is the project of our wonderful future. We are drawing to, to the near, uh, to the end of the presentation. Ну и заключающий кадр uh, по транспорту. Here you have to give your emotions, your feelings, not be shy about it, and then people will believe you. Дальше идут технические э, кадры, And in conclusion, we которые можно the, использовать the technology, the transportation that we have. Вы форматируете их уже по своему усмотрению. Then we, then we have some technical uh, uh, slides that we can use in Я our presentation. Everyone can format uh, or uh, choose the slides according to their own style of presentation. But I will just uh, go through the, these additional slides that you can include or not include uh, very fast. This is an instruction how to fill in the uh, blank slide. Слайды, которые вы тоже можете заполнять самостоятельно. This is a blank slide that you can fill in uh, for your purposes. Когда пойдет разговор об экономической части, у нас есть две заготовки с четырнадцатым этапом. Another, this is another master slide that you can fill in. И с пятнадцатым этапом. Uh, if you talk about the financial part, we have two Поставите templates uh, with uh, the stage of 2014. Uh, to, uh, the, 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 sorry, with the 14th stage and with, with the 15th stage. Uh, so the slide with the 15th stage you will use when the 15th, 15th stage comes. Это касается и uh, линейных городов. Uh, the topic about our green technology. If you need to discuss it, then you insert this and discuss it. Добавил по просьбе нашего uh, коллеги из Эстонии Сергея. Uh, also, we have a slide if you need about linear cities. Слева огромные массы земли нужно uh, нарыть сверху, добавить, а чтобы построить дорогу справа uh, в Швейцарии нужно огромные массы камней взрывать. This slide I added uh, upon the request of our Estonian colleague uh, Sergei uh, to show how difficult it is currently to build. Uh, roads. Uh, on the left you see uh, gr big amounts of ground that have to be added in order to level up uh, the road. Um, on the right you see big amounts of stone that have to be exploded away in order to clear the pass. These are historical slides. Это было построено под Петербургом сто лет назад. Uh, to the left, it's a very interesting, interesting airplane that Это hangs на on the track. This was built near Saint Petersburg hundred years ago. Повторяю, все это вы можете использовать в своей версии, в своей трактовке. And this is our modern uh, picture, of probably the most favorite slide of our community. So as I have already said, you can use these all these slides in your version of, of a presentation. Я просто взял скрин с экрана и вставил в заготовку нашего слайда. Никаких сложностей здесь нет. 
when you speak about the packages, you will include the latest information. I just took a screenshot of the screen of, uh, and simply uh, inserted it into the slide. It's not difficult, difficult at all. Пожалуйста, подождите до 2 апреля. Эта информация уже с изменениями будет доступна всем. Более того, еще существует и короткая презентация, очень короткая, на 15 минут. Она тоже будет доступна, но на основе вот этого, этого материала, который я показал сейчас. So um, our time is up. So these are my last slides. And let me just say that you can ask all your questions and I will answer them. Uh, but please wait till 2nd of April to get all this information. Uh, it will be available to everybody, including also a short version of the presentation, uh, 15 minutes long, uh, based on the same material. And please address uh, Yelena Kovalik. Uh, she uh, is she knows uh, all of that very well, and she is responsible for the distribution both of the logos and logo types, and also of these of this presentation. So thank you very much for your attention, and it is time for lunch.